Hello and welcome to the GP Connect video guide. GP Connect allows some patient clinical information to be transferred from the spine directly into Meditech. The information received from the spine will be the same information that is displayed on the summary care record. GP Connect can be queried by anyone who enters allergies or home medications onto a patient's medical record. So for example, doctors, advanced clinical practitioners, nurse practitioners and pharmacy. GP Connect will be extremely useful when admitting new patients onto Meditech or during preoperative assessments. GP Connect means that colleagues no longer have to refer to a patient's summary care record for information on home medications and allergies. However, it is important to note that for information to be transferred, the patient must have a valid NHS number in Meditech. If the NHS number is grey or missing, then GP Connect will not retrieve any information. Firstly, I will show you how to query GP Connect. So once you have opened up a patient on Meditech, make sure you're on the summary tab and click query GP Connect at the bottom of the screen. So at this point, you may receive a message box. For a breakdown of what each message means, please read the GP Connect connection messages document on the hub. You will now see that external data will show under both allergies and home medications. It's important to note that at this point, the data is, a view, is in a view only format and not actually added onto the patient's medical record. To view a patient's allergies, click edit on the allergy and adverse reaction section. And then select external allergies. From here, you can see the allergen or substance, the severity, the reaction, the status and the date that it was recorded on the GP system. To return to the summary screen, click cancel. To view a patient's home medications, click edit on the home medications tab. From here, you can see repeat medications, the drug name, strength, formulation, dose and frequency, um, the first date of issue, the last date of issue, and any prescriber comments, if any, are available. If recorded on the GP system, you may also be able to see acute medications, discontinued acute medications, discontinued repeat medications and delayed prescribing medications. To exit the home meds, click cancel. This will return you to the summary screen. So now I'll show you how to add an allergy or adverse reaction to a patient's medical record. So I'll click edit on the allergy and adverse reaction section and then select the external allergies tab. Select yes on any allergy that you wish to add to the patient's medical record. And click the add selected external allergy at the bottom of the screen. Now GP Connect will search for the allergen. If GP Connect shows that a patient has no known allergies, then click the NKA button to record this. So at this point, when Meditech searches for the allergen, you may have to manipulate this to find it in our dictionary. So in this example, if I remove the word substance, you'll find the Meditech reaction for sesame oil. So once you've found the allergen that you wish to add, click it, and then you are forced to input a reaction as this does not automatically pull from GP Connect. If at this step, you wish to um, look back at what the allergen were on GP Connect. If you simply just look below, you'll see the reaction is difficulty in breathing. And once you are happy with the allergen, click save and repeat this for any further allergens that you wish to add to the patient's record. If you do not wish to add an allergen, click no on the allergies that you do not wish to add. And click save. And 
OK on confirm edits. The allergen has now been added to the patient's medical record. You will see that the allergen is recorded in the allergy and adverse reaction section as well as on the patient banner. With allergies, it's very important to know that once an allergy is added to a patient record, Meditech will remember this every time GP Connect is queried. Only if a new allergy is added to the spine will this be available to add to a patient's record from external allergies when GP Connect is queried again. So now I'll show you how to add home medications to a patient's medical record. So to do this, you click edit on the home medications section and ensure that you are selected the external medication history. Select yes on the first medication which you wish to add to the patient's medical record. This will then search that drug in our home medications dictionary. At this stage, please be careful that you select the correct strength formulation and dose of the drug. If you're unsure, you can refer back to the GP Connect data that is displayed above the drug search. Once you have selected the drug, you have an option to manipulate the dose, route and frequency if you wish to do so. The data from GP Connect will be displayed above if you need to refer back to it. You must fill in the last taken section as this is a mandatory field. Once the drug matches GP Connect, go back to the new tab and follow the steps for any further medications that you wish to add to a patient's medical record. If you do not wish to add a specific drug, simply click no against these drugs. Once you have added every drug that you wish to the patient's medical record, click save, review the information and confirm that it is all correct and click OK. You will now see the drugs you just added to the home medication section on the summary screen. Now that the home meds are filled in, you can insert these into clinical notes using date formats or they can be prescribed using the reconcile function on the orders tab. This concludes a video on GP Connect. For further information on GP Connect, please refer to the GP Connect guides located on the hub. Thank you.